number of ventilators, the supply chain of ventilators, um, and the, the need uh, across the world is uh, it's pretty tight. It would be very difficult to get ventilators in a very timely fashion to have a, an impact on, on the uh, patients, and that's why you're hearing these partnerships to be able to gear up that and address the, uh, the, the shortage of, of ventilators. APRV, or Airway Pressure Release Ventilation, is a mode of ventilation which is designed to open up an inflamed lung and to keep it open. APRV is medically advised. It's not something that would, you would just put a patient on for a brief period of time in desperation while you're waiting for a better option. It's actually something that they could potentially be on for hours to days continually as a therapy to allow their bodies to try and recover from the inflammation caused by COVID-19. This effort has really expanded into something fairly substantial and in only three weeks, or one day less than three weeks, it's been quite mind-blowing, actually. Certainly one of the uh, most extraordinary experiences of my professional life. And um, you're seen in countries, you know, China, Italy, Spain, today it was reported 10,000, you know, plus individuals died. In the United States here, the numbers are increasing over and over um, of, of deaths related to COVID-19. So the impact is absolutely critical right now. If we can have some small impact on um, saving a life, I think that that's, that's what this is about.